Welcome to the Sim Hangar. My name is Mark, and in this video, oh, hang on, no, that's not right. Uh, sorry, VR Flight Sim Guy. I got a bit confused there. <laughs> but in all seriousness, Mark from the Sim Hangar is an excellent YouTuber. Links will be in the description below. Go check him out. I'm sure you already have. Anyway, this video you're watching at the moment, me flying in the Quest on Airlink, flying a display over Skegness in Lincolnshire in the Just Flight Hawk T Mark 1A. And in this video, we're going to go over my Quest 2 settings. Let's get cracking straight away. First of all, let's look at my in sim settings. Now, many of you who use different headsets like I do will notice they have not changed at all from my Reverb D2 and Vario Aero sim settings. And that is because I like to set and forget. I do not like tweaking any more than you guys. Um, so they work really well, I find. And I think for my system, that is a nice sweet spot. Bear in mind, I am running a 10900K with a 3090. So these settings work really well. And you might think they're really low. That's because I prefer to go on the lower side to keep that VR performance up really, really high. Also, here are my settings for 1080 Ti users um, because I know that is really important. Many of you still have that card and actually it's a really good card, you know. I've been messing around with that computer a bit recently due to the settings videos coming out and it performs really well. I'm running at 8600K and uh, that's what started the channel off. Notice the render scale is backed off big time as well as a few other fancy features like ray march reflections and light shafts and you know i think the important thing here is to get smooth vr performance at a really nice frame rate and if you get that you're not going to be missing all of those extra little settings because you're going to be too busy just enjoying flying anyway right let's now go to the oculus settings or should i call it meta I've no idea folks but these are my graphics preferences you can find these in your device tab and then you can go to the bottom graphics preferences um, I don't see the point in running 90 Hertz with the quest you're just losing 10 frames per second I'd recommend 80 Hertz it still feels comfortable enough and if you've got a fairly decent GPU that is a sort of 3080 and 3090 I run my render resolution at 1.2 times at 4,860 by 2,448. Do you know what? Interestingly, when I bump that up even higher, I haven't really noticed any visual uh, difference in the clarity for me personally. So I've bumped it back down to 1.2, which means motion reprojection, or sorry, asynchronous time warp in this case, or space warp, works much better. Um, and yeah, I actually thought 1080 Ti users, um, sorry to say, it is a massive hit on your GPU so I recommend keeping it to uh, sort of 1.0 and running at 80 Hertz or even 72 Hertz if you can handle it um, because honestly the 10 series cards are not really meant for the Quest if you've got a 20 series card you can bump that up a bit more so bear that in mind right next is the oculus tray tool i'll have links in the description below where you can find it i would recommend this over the debug tool simply because you can set and forget again because that's what we're aiming to do here folks less hassle and i think the debug tool well it changes settings sometimes when you're not looking which is a bit sneaky the oculus tray tool well you can absolutely dial in those settings you can even get it to start up with windows and that way it's just so much easier this is what I'm running at the moment. Notice I'm not using super sampling whilst using asynchronous space warp. That is because in my opinion, using super sampling uh, is much harder on your GPU than the native resolution of your headset. And particularly with sort of any motion reprojection, it seems to suffer. And that's the same with the Revo D2 as well, actually. So when I'm using asynchronous space warp, I have that set to 30 hertz. It's so smooth, folks, it really is. Uh, if I decide to have that set to off, then I go to 1.2 super sampling. Bear in mind, that's recommended for, say, 3080 and 3090 cards. I wouldn't recommend that with the 1080 Ti crowd, really wouldn't. Um, Quest link settings, well, I do love using Airlink, actually. That's my preferred way of using the Quest, but it makes sense because it has that capability. And these settings work best for me. Please feel free to experiment. My NVIDIA settings, well, they're the same again as all my other headsets. Uh, I prefer maximum performance these days, of course. Um, my virtual reality pre-rendered frames are set to 2, with texture filtering quality set to performance, which has no effect, in my opinion, on the VR clarity. 
I'm also using NVIDIA driver 511.79 at the time it's recording, which seems to rock really well in VR these days. Now onto my OpenXR toolkit settings, which seems to work really well with DirectX 11 since the latest beta. So make sure you download the latest version of this app, okay? Um, I'm using FSR for my upscaling. I just think it looks better than NIS for the Quest. I've no idea why, but that's just my personal preference. Notice here that my inner ring size is at 80%, same with the outer ring size, and my outer and middle resolutions at 1 8th. It's worth noting as well with the brand new OpenXR beta that DirectX 11 support seems to work really well with the Quest. And yeah, overall performance is absolutely fantastic. I also have game mode switched off and also HAGS is turned off. The taskbar, make sure nothing is running in that, including any NVIDIA experience apps. And I think that's about it, folks. Please do let me know in the comments if I've missed anything. I'm sure I have. And if you've got this far in the video, thank you so much. Please feel free to subscribe since many of my viewers who watch my content regular, 80% of you, are not. And you know what? This is just a bit of a hobby for me. So if you can push the channel a bit further, I would really appreciate it. See you folks. Have a great time this weekend flying or whatever you're going to be doing. And I'll see you all again very soon.